So far in this series, on using the VTSCADA Idea Studio, we've seen how to configure the widgets in the images to build the user interface. But by now, your pages are probably starting to get pretty full. So it's time to see how to create brand new pages. Now, before we do that, though, I need to tell you just a bit about how to set up the overall page size and configuration. So even though this video is mostly about using the file menu inside the Idea Studio, we're going to start by talking about the application configuration and page display properties. So I'm going to close the Idea Studio and open the application configuration dialog from this icon at the top of the main VTSCADA screen. At the top of application configuration, there's the edit properties submenu. And within that, you're going to find the display tab. Here you can change things like the application name, the icon that shows up over in the VAM, and the overall color theme. But what I want to focus on is the window behavior. This is where you control whether or not your application will run as a full screen application. So fill in the entire screen with no borders, no minimize button. It's always going to totally fill the screen. Or if you want to allow your operators to resize that window, or perhaps something in between. Give them a window that they can move around so they can access other things on the computer, but keep the size of the display fixed so they can't change it. All of these choices can be set here within the overall configuration. You can even do things like constrain the aspect ratio so that the width and the height can't change if you do allow them to resize the window. You can also set the uh, initial size, or if it's uh, a fixed size, this is where you would set how big that fixed size is. One other thing to note is down here in the page behavior, where you have the ability to set up your screens so that the contents will stretch in order to fit the available area. This could be useful if your application is going to be viewed on a number of different sized screens. It will simply stretch the contents of the page to fit whatever screen people are using to look at it. Now, this works in one way only as far as enabling or disabling. You enable the whole thing right here. So if I click this, all of my pages will now start stretching. But maybe there are some pages that I don't want to stretch. Perhaps those are pages with just a few small things in one corner. If they stretched, it would look very, very strange on the screen. So on a page by page basis, you have the ability to turn off the stretch feature, but you have to first enable it here. So it's one way from here enabled and then elsewhere page by page disabled if you choose to do that. Okay, there are other controls here, but let's move on to talk about creating and configuring our brand new pages. So everything else pretty much is what you're going to see. So I'm not going to do that just yet. We'll just close this and go back to the Idea Studio. In the Idea Studio, new pages are created by using the File menu. That's a drop-down menu here at the top of the screen, which will either have this icon or the word File, depending on the operating system you're using when using VTSCADA. Here, I can find the new command where I can create brand new pages, and I can create a standard page. Now, that will be the full size of whatever we set in that previous application configuration. So either full screen or whatever my initial size was going to be. But this is your background, the basic VTSCADA page. The other option is to set a pop-up page. Now, a pop-up page can be large or small, but it will pop up in front of the current page, normally used for a control page. Let's create one of each and see the difference. I'll start by creating a brand new standard page, and note you can press Control N to do this directly from the keyboard. It will prompt for a name. I'm going to simply take the default page one, click OK, and it asks if I want to add page one to the menu. I'm going to say yes for now, and in the next video, we'll talk about menu configuration. Page one has now been added, and I can go ahead and draw 
pretty much anything I want to on page one. Now let's do that again, but this time I'm going to do it in a different way and create a pop-up page. The different way is at the bottom of the screen, I can click this plus button, and this allows me to open existing pages or also to create new tabs and at the same time, create a new page to be shown on that tab, either a standard page or a pop-up page. We'll take a pop-up, we'll take the default name of page two, and once again, yes, add it to the menu. Now watch when I draw the line this time. It's going to behave a bit differently than the last time. As I start drawing a few squiggles and stop, the drafting area of the page shrank so that it just barely covered what I drew. And that's a feature of pop-up pages. They will always be just big enough to show you what you drew. Now, for pop-up pages on a page-by-page -page basis, I can go into the properties and I can set the size of this page. So before I do that, let me go down to the bottom of the screen and see how big this currently is. Down here I can see these numbers showing me the size of the current page in pixels. So if I were to round these numbers up, I could give myself a bit of white space around the borders of what I had drawn. That's a, a nice thing to do for the operators just so that the pages are not crowded. So we'll increase that to 300 and a height of 200. Note you can also set the initial position, so the, the top left corner of a page, a pop-up page when it opens, and also, a, if you want, a minimum size if operators are allowed to change sizes, and a maximum size. But the overall size is what's going to give me that little bit of extra space around the contents of the page. Now I said that I could change the behavior later on. That's done right here. So if I wanted to make this a, a full screen page, I could choose this option and tell it to be either never pop up, in other words, always a full standard screen, or no restrictions. And then it's the operator's choice of a left click or a right click, how they want to open the page. And by the way, most VT SCADA's pages are set to no restrictions meaning that if you were to do a right click on them in the menu, you would get that page as a pop-up. Could be very handy for alarms or operator notes. I can change the title of the page, so if I don't like page two as a title, it can be changed to anything. Normally the thumbnail image, that's the, uh, the small preview that you get of a page, will be the contents of the page. But if I wanted to, I could use this to go find any image I wanted and use that image as a thumbnail. The bar items allow me to control what parts of the title bar will be shown. So I can have the, the log on button, the idea studio, yes or no for all of these. This note is for the overall page style, so when it's a full screen page. As a windowed or pop-up page, note that by default these are all turned off. So if I wanted to be able to see the date and the time, I would have to enable that. Let's take a look and see how this is going. So I'm going to close the Idea Studio, go to my menu and open page two, which is a pop-up, and oh, I guess I didn't get my, uh, my date and time. I needed to add a few more things into the title bar before there was going to be room for that. Okay, going back to the Idea Studio, let's see what else we can do while we have a moment. Well, within the page properties, Let's take a look at page one. You can do things like set a background color for the page. Or you could import or select any image. If I wanted to import an image, I can do it by using a plus button, find an image on my hard drive. That will import it into the current uh, folder within your images uh, palette. And what I've done is to set that as the background. So as I click on the screen, I cannot select that image. It's a built-in part of the page. Very different than just dropping an image on the page. Okay, now you've seen how to add your own pages and expand the user interface. And remember, there is never a limit to how many pages you can create. <laughs>